Hey guys, it's Harleywood. My most popular video on YouTube is the Olight M2R. As of right now, it just surpassed 600,000 views. In that video, I went so far as to say that this thing was perfect. And at the time, it was probably one of the best options out there. Now, if you're gonna EDC something, you gotta really want it to EDC a light this size. I tend to go a little bit smaller, but this is a fantastic light, especially at the time it was released. And now they have a pro version in black and camo. Let's focus on this one for just a minute. And then the rest of this video will pretty much focus on the black one since other than the camo and the accent colors, it's effectively the exact same flashlight. So you'll notice the ring around the barrel button as well as the bezel here is black on the camo version as opposed to blue on the other version. Other than that, it's identical. This is a limited edition, so if you want this, you better jump on it. And there is a flash sale October 31st, 2019, where these are drastically reduced, especially if you bundle it. The flash sale bundle includes your pressure pad that mounts on a Picatinny rail and magnetically connects to the light here, as well as the rail mount itself. So if you want a weapon light option here, go for the bundle. Let's talk about what you get in the box. You're going to get your user manual. You're going to get your lanyard. You're going to get the flashlight, obviously, depending on what color you choose. You're going to get a 5,000 milliamp hour 21700 battery, so much bigger power source than an 18650. And to charge that guy, there is a new magnetic adapter. So if we look at that compared to a previous one, you'll notice the difference there. This one is red. And if we look on the back, the red one is 2 amp compatible. So it will charge that massive power source much, much more quickly than the previous 1 amp charger. I don't really use these, but if you use holsters for your flashlight and you know the one that came with the previous M2R, it is easily the highest quality, best one that Olight has ever had with a flashlight. This one is exactly the same. So very nicely done holster. Let's do some comparisons to the previous model. Now the previous model is just a little bit smaller. You can see it on the bottom there. Not much, I'd say maybe that's an eighth to a quarter of an inch. The new one is just a little bit fatter, okay, because of that bigger power source. You'll notice that the bezel, so the new one's on the top now, is more aggressive. So look at the, the edge profile here on the bezel compared to the other one. This one will definitely leave a mark, much more of a tactical uh, look and feel to it. And on the bottom, the biggest thing that Olight changed on this was the button. Now, a lot of people liked having a tail cap on the button, but they didn't like how flush, if not slightly recessed, the previous version was. All right, And guys complained that with gloves, they couldn't access the button. I've never had that problem. I, uh, you must be using big Winder Parka gloves because that's pretty easy. But Olight listened and they actually raised the button up a little bit on the new one. Now you'll notice these little notches here. So in order to make this still tail cap chargeable, they also had to raise that outer edge because that is what interfaces with this outer ring on the charger here. So it still locks up magnetically still locks up to an L dock. If you have any of those other accessories, it'll work just fine. And when you grab it, your finger pretty easily can activate the button, even with those little raised spots. Now, most Olights, the clip is not reversible. I know it has this, uh, I could take it or leave it. But on this one, the clip is actually reversible for those of you sinners who like to carry bezel up. And I also know some guys like to use this to cover the button, more so for pocket EDC, but if you wanted to throw this in a bag and you were worried about it coming on, you could cover and protect the barrel button with your clip. And lastly, the previous version was only 1500 lumens, which is actually a great output. The new version is 1800 lumens. And we're gonna take this out back and compare these two in a second. They're both fully charged. This one, I think it's just that it has a more focused beam profile looks exponentially brighter than the old one. 
First, let's go over the lumen levels. I'm gonna put them up right here on the screen. So turbo is 1800 lumens, high is 750 lumens, medium is 250 lumens, medium two is 60 lumens, low is 15 lumens, and moonlight mode is one lumen. There is a look at your reflectors. This is the Pro, and this is the previous version. So the previous version had a little bit more of an orange peel reflector. The Pro has a smooth reflector, which will definitely translate when we take these outside in a minute. It just rained, and so we've got this really nice mist in the air. It's gonna allow you to see the beam profiles on these really, really nicely. So first, let's roll in the older M2R. Kind of see the beam profile there. So the barn back there is 101 yards from where we are right now. The, sh the uh, trailer over here on the left is about 15 yards. Good job at 1500 lumens. See how it lights up in the trees there. Let's move that off to the left and bring in the new M2R Pro. So look at how much more focused this guy is. Bring the M2R back in. Look at the difference in those beam profiles. That's the M2R on the barn, and there is the Pro. Huge difference, absolutely huge. I mentioned when I first reviewed the M2R, I called it perfect. And at the time, I didn't have anything in my collection that I would have considered a better all-around flashlight than this. Now, obviously, there are some that specialize in things and do it better, but for a general purpose all-around flashlight, you gotta check your property at night, you wanna throw something in a backpack, a get-home bag, something like that, this thing was phenomenal. And it answered a lot of the challenges and questions that you guys had put to Olight at the time. The Pro makes it that much better. It is significantly better, guys. If you just saw that beam pattern footage outside, that 1800 lumens absolutely stomps the 1500 of the previous version. 300 lumens doesn't sound like a big difference, but especially with the way you got to see it with the mist rolling through the air, I mean, this thing just absolutely dominated. So a little bit more aggressive bezel on it. It is a tad bit fatter. It's got 21700 power source in there. This might be the new Perfect. I mentioned there's a flash sale October 31st. The black version will be basically $77, and the camo version will be $84. And the bundles will be basically $90 for the black version and $95 for the camo version. I posted links in the description below to both options. If you are watching this after October 31st, these jack back up 30% for the flashlight by itself. They go up 40% for the bundle, but I do have a 10% off coupon code in the description below, so check that out. That's it guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button below. We've got lots more videos to come, and we'll see you next time.